hi guys welcome to my channel spreading my love and awareness so today we're gonna be talking about the psychology behind dreams and I know you've never thought about that but that's the reason why you should keep watching because I'm gonna break it all down right now now that your piercing has healed you are so ready to explore the world of jewelry I got your back. Start with bodycandy.com. Use my promo code Michelle Mutangadura25 so that you can get 25% off of any jewelry of your choice. Simply click the link in my description and start exploring the world of jewelry. There is a variety of designs and sizes of jewelry pieces you can definitely choose from. Happy body modification. Bye. So, dreams do have a purpose, but it is not to warn us about the future or for self-improvement apparently according to psychology that is not what dreams are about so um the actual purpose of dreams according to researchers is that it's like self-therapy because dreams consist of mood regulation as well as memory consolidation so it's supposed to be a therapeutical process like you know you're sleeping and it's like a self-therapy thing but although not so many people are blessed with like good dreams and everything that's what dreams are supposed to be for and if you like sleep you like dreams you like self-therapy you like a great mental health status and yeah that's what dreams are for y'all oh and also you happen not to remember your dreams a lot if you're liking sleep so what are dreams? Dreams, dreams, dreams. Dreams are stories. Stories told by your brain during the rapid eye movement. Yep, when you're closing your eyes, your eyes are literally closed, but you're doing this like the entire time. That is what dreams are like. Your eyes are closed, but you're like, you're like rapidly moving your eyes. You know, like, that is one of the weirdest things I've ever learned. And an average human being dreams for a good six years in a lifetime. I feel like six years is a little. I mean, I love dreaming, you guys. Dreams are, like, so amazing. So, well, at least mine are. Anyway, six years feels like a little. I mean, like, it feels like, I just feel like I need more time to dream than six years, really. So, like so anyway, um, from my research... It was saying that it is well like so many people believe that dreams do not have a connection with like the future or anything of that sort like dream interpretations are not supposed to even be a thing because dreams don't really mean anything basically but I didn't want to touch on that because I personally don't believe that I feel like dreams do actually mean something and you know you can actually get help to interpret them i guess but i just want to move on to the nightmares because that part will actually help you a lot in terms of your mental health i also want to know what you think do you think that um dreams can be interpreted because they actually mean something either something that's currently happening like a warning a sign or future events that are about to take place or you feel like dreams do not mean anything at all because they have no connection to our future or what is currently happening to us. So comment down below, tell me what you think. Then moving on to nightmares. So when you are having a nightmare, it is a clear sign that you are not healthy mentally. So nightmares can well, there's so many reasons a person can have nightmares, including post-traumatic stress disorder or, you know, that's just basically things that cause trauma in your life from the past. And, you know, your brain is probably still trying to, like, nudge you and tell you, hey, um, 
we still got this hanging around can we like go for therapy and let it out meditate all of that stuff so that's one reason a person can be having nightmares the other reason is if you're anxious about anything so if your anxiety is like ocd um like any sort of anxiety you're feeling if it's pd whatever it is as long as you're really anxious or uneasy in some way you are probably gonna have a nightmare because that's another way of our brain telling us that we really need some nice therapy or meditation so um nightmares are actually really connected to like our current and real life more than they more than like the dreams you know like the nicer dreams and everything so the reason or the explanation behind nightmares being connected to like our experiences is the post-traumatic um, experiences I was talking about so basically when you're sleeping you are re-experiencing the bad or traumatic things that you've been through so it is possible that as we're growing older you begin to forget some of these negative things you've been through in your life and then you like have a nightmare and you're like what I dreamt being beaten but like i don't even know where that came from so it's possible that you have actually gone through that beating way way back and you just can't remember and your brain is only trying to help you right so you should definitely um take your nightmares seriously because they are they're like literally linked to you know your mental health in every single way so please do take nightmares seriously if it feels so familiar in the dream especially if it feels really familiar and you're like what have i actually lived through such pain and then you wake up and you're like what what was that dream or like that nightmare all about you should definitely um search deep within and see what's going on okay okay so um it's possible that when you're also having nightmares it will not be exact but it could be symbolic or have like a hidden meaning so i guess that's when we actually need people to interpret these things to us because you're probably dreaming about a snake well just so you guys know if you're dreaming about snakes apparently according to the internet them should i even be talking about this though i feel like if i talk about it people be thinking i'm dreaming about snakes i'm not so i'm not just in here anyway um yeah some things are symbolic more than physical like a snake is an, ex is an example like it's so symbolic like even like way way back cultural stuff you know very very symbolic yeah okay so i'll continue with my example let's say you're being swallowed by a snake it's not like way back you've been swallowed by a snake because you're literally still here right but like the action of a snake swallowing you can actually mean something that's actually happened to you way before like i don't know what these dream interpretation people be like but like you should definitely like seek interpret interpretations i have nothing against dream interpreters because it is a gift after all so yeah you guys you should go hunting for those clues. <laughs> nah, guys, I'm joking. Hey, <laughs> people be like, ding, shonga on you if you're doing. I'm joking, yo, chill. Chill. <laughs> so, my advice to anybody having a nightmare is to focus on positive things during your day. Um, question yourself, question your mental health. If you are lacking somewhere, definitely. Seek some help, seek some advice, and you could get through the next night pretty nice and well. Yeah, just meditate, you guys. Get, like, all the help you need. I 
Well, I also have nightmares sometimes, but I didn't think they were related to like mental health or anything. So I'm definitely going to start taking nightmares seriously. I'm going to make a part two of this video. Lost lucid dreaming. That's what the part two is going to be about. Thank you for watching till the end. Remember to comment down below so that I know that you've like watch and everything tell me if you guys believe that dreams you know do actually have some connection to our future or like warnings about stuff just comment that down below download my game use my promo code to get um expensive jewelry at a cheaper price well not like general jewelry though like if you're peers like you know anywhere type of jewelry bye i'll catch you guys like soon